It's my beautiful girl. Okay. You think we'll need more? I, I'll, I'll bring them all. I will we'll take about three. You want all of them? I'll bring them all. Mm -hmm. You know how it is in Walmart. I would, just to be on the safe side. Okay. Did you see the back? The back of what? The back deck. No, I haven't. Yeah. Looks no. totally different. But... Really? Yeah, I'll check it out when I get home. <coughs> well, it's been another hectic yeah. half week. At least I get tomorrow off. But, you know, there's just tired of politics already. And just, you know, bad enough with this virus thing going on. That just complicates things even more. But, uh, there's some air in here. I turn the truck on, it's going to be too loud. So, um, but yeah, it's, you know, politics at work, you know, we're considered essential people. And, of course, dealing with people on, you know, you know, customer service and crap it's just enough to you know really burn you out after a day I mean literally you're just mentally fatigued having to deal with some of the ignorance that comes comes across the counter sometimes but anyway yeah things have been changing with uh, Walmart we've heard so we're gonna make a trip over there because we need stuff and we're under lockdown, supposedly. It's a, it, it's one of those catch-22s. You got my phone? I'm going to read the emergency message that was displayed uh, yesterday. yesterday. It was an emergency alert. Bold letters. Go home. Stay home. Travel only for work and essentials. Virus spreading in all South Carolina counties. That's it. So this is... South Carolina's version of a mandatory lockdown. You know, you can tell anybody anything, oh, I'm going somewhere for essentials. And, you know, I don't see how that is. I, I mean, don't for, think the police are stopping anybody. No, I don't think so either, but, you know, it's basically status quo, you know, in South Carolina. So if you got germy people, they're still out and around mingling with the rest of the non sick public, probably spreading this crap. So all I can do is just hope, you know, I mean, I've got my, my hand sanitizers. Karen actually got some masks. Let me, let me find those. Yeah, here we go. So you think we should go in with masks? Uh, Walmart? I don't think. You don't think so? And then I don't want to waste them. Yeah, I don't want to waste them either. So, because I kind of need them for work. So, yeah, we'll probably... You know, not wear them, but these are actually better than what I'm getting supplied with at work. I mean, the ones I get at work are just cheap pieces of crap. So I believe this. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So this metal piece is supposed to be on the bottom, not not like a nose piece. I guess you could. I mean, it, it depends on how you want to wear it. I mean, mm. if you wanted to clamp a little bit around you, I guess you could. Well, actually, this but, thing's coming off anyway. Yes, it's not very good. No, you know. it's, it just peels right off. Well, oh, I mean, I meant that bar. No, but the mask is good because it covers your your nose and your. Well, mouth. yeah, this actually is better than what I'm supplied at work. Yeah. So. But even looking for them, people are gouging. Yeah. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, we got a report from a local police officer that uh, they arrested somebody for selling one roll of toilet paper for five bucks. Yeah, basically got it for price gouging. So, yeah, one roll for five dollars. So, you need to get kicked off of that. Amazon um, got rid of a lot of people, yeah, because I've been looking at different things, and a lot of those people that were selling it, their, their account's not there anymore. Mm. So, they're they're claiming, I guess, eBay is too. I guess I don't know, but I know Amazon is. Wow, so yeah, times are continuing to change. Um, I had a doctor's appointment, uh, actually, two for. Uh, April 20th and April 30th for my five year, what would you call it? Colonoscopy. Yeah, my colonoscopy. Uh, and that's been canceled now. So. Oh, they canceled it? Yeah, I got a call today that oh, they canceled okay. it. And they scheduled it for my birthday. Well, you got to get it done. Well, no. I told them that's not going to work. Because <laughs> you got to take this medicine. If you've never had this done, 
it's not fun as you get older you need to kind of keep on top of you know your aging body and this is something because colon cancer runs in my family um, I have to keep on top of so I'm already overdue for a five-year checkup I was scheduled for April 20th now that's been canceled because of this virus and they scheduled it for Wednesday well the reason I want it on a Monday which is originally what I had scheduled for Monday April 20th so I could drink this solution which cleans you out the entire day well I can't take two sick days you know I probably could but I don't you know I plan this where I want Sunday off to go ahead and drink this solution go in early Monday morning and get this thing done that's my plan so when they decide to schedule me oh we're just gonna shift you to Wednesday well no that doesn't work you know, they need to contact me first I told them, no that's not gonna work so they're supposed to call me and let me know when they're gonna reschedule it which they never did so I'll have to follow up with them probably tomorrow or I'll probably have to go up there in person more than likely that's what I've had to do in the past I can't mm -hmm. seem to make a change on the phone for some stupid reason <clears throat> if they even accept me I don't even know I'll have to call yeah you know, I probably will have to call them to see if I can even go in there, go in there mm -hmm. right so yeah now my doctor's appointments are getting put off I got a dentist appointment I think May 5th or May 9th or whatever and that may be you know postponed so you know, it's starting to affect my doctor's appointments you know but as for work now I'm still working full full on you know normal work schedule so uh, but anyway yeah my girl she's been doing projects around the house after I pressure washed the uh, deck she's been back staining it and because she enjoys doing that I was gonna you know again I have to work so I can't be there to help but you know I did have to get the stain because I guess the one can was so you know solidified it was the, the first can I like I, I was like poking it with um, yeah. an instrument and I told him, I said, this, this is too old. We can't do anything mm -hmm. with this. Oh, no, no. Just get the mixer and spin it around there. And yeah. Get we'll it. see. And, but it was, like, thick. It had thickened, too. Like, by the time I pulled this up, it was like a cake. Wow. And it stunk. I mean, it didn't smell like stain usually smells. Mm. This smelled old, like, old, moldy. Yeah. yeah. It was disgusting. Yeah. You know, I'm like, no, we, we, we. We can't use this. It's too old. Yeah. Now, if I would have, I didn't know she was going to stain on Monday. So I had no idea. You know, she decided she was going to go I'm ahead and do it. And stuff. Yeah. So once I said, well, go ahead and get that can then. And I didn't think it was that bad. But if I would have known, I would have checked it and said, okay, here's what we got. I'll mix it That's up. A big deal. I figured but it out. yeah. Well, once we got the old can out of here and got the new can, you know, then I mixed everything up. I hooked up the mixer with my drill and mixed it all up. And then she had fun, you know, so I did what I could, you yeah, know. Yeah, I did, I did, a, I put three, I had to end up putting three coats on. Yeah. Because of the, the damage to, to the deck. I mean, there's been things sitting on it. Yeah. And it was a move for God knows how long. And I guess the water just ran off of that, you know, and in, in certain spots, it's, it's severely weather damaged. Yeah. And the, the carpenter ants, the black, the big black ants we have here, they're, they're, mm -hmm. They call them another form of fire ants because they bite you, they got a sting, but they're black and they're big. And they have carved into some of the deck boards to the point where they're probably going to need to be replaced sooner than later. Mm -hmm. But there's also rotten wood, so the quality of wood that they used back in 2009 when the addition and the deck was built. Now, I know it was treated wood, but apparently it was real shoddy treated wood because it shouldn't be rotting after 11 years. Not like this. So I have a feeling I'm going to wind up having to replace all the deck boards, and they're two by fours. That's why I got thick boards so they be heavy duty. I don't use one by six deck boards. So now, yeah, I'm probably gonna to have to plan on having the deck ripped up and redone with maybe two by sixes like what we use for the Mega Shed. Use those. That's a you know solid, more solid board. But I want to make sure that they're definitely treated. And I don't know where they got them from, if it was Lowe's or where it was, but I'm going to definitely check them out and. I'll have to take some measurements, find out what, um, you know, what length I'm going to need. Probably 12 footers. So I'll, I'll probably be using my ladder rack to pick those up, find out how many I need. And I don't know if I can do it myself. I'll probably have to get a contractor, and I'm not going to use who we use for the windows. That's I'll find someone else. Well, we can probably just do that in one day. Yeah. Because <clears throat> I I took two days to do it because you know I have other work to do. Hmm. You know, I, I still have to wash, I still have to cook, I still have to clean. And that's what I was doing today. 
and yesterday. You know, so I, I stayed the deck, and then while it was drying, I came over here and did the work I had to do, the, plus I had to cook. Then today, I went out there and put another two coats on it, plus I had to wash, and then I had to clean over at the house again, and then I still had to cook. So I was doing all of these things, you know, waiting for the, the back deck to dry, but it's finally, it finally is dry, you know, because the weather was nice, the sun was out, we had wind, so it's all, it's all done now. I did the best I could do with it. I had to go over it with a regular hand by hand mm. to do it. And then I got yeah. the roller and went over it again. The hand brush, yeah, the paintbrush. Because yes. the wood is, some of, you'll see it, yeah. and we will take a picture of it. Most of the wood looks okay, you know, but you can see where the damage is. Yeah. And that just, it wouldn't take the stain, no matter what I did. You know, I even left stain on it. You know, I didn't really rub it over. I just left it there sitting on top. Mm. And then I came back and ran over it and then put another coat on top. But it still didn't do anything. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's the quality of the wood. But every it, I mean, it's once I get it fixed up and everything, it'll be OK. I mean, you won't really pay it any attention. But, you know, like I told him, all that crap that was up there before can't go up there anymore mm -hmm. because it's trapping the moisture and it's getting up under the legs and it's just laying there and it's eating yeah. away. The wood. Well, part of the problem too was the tarp. It was had holes in it, and water was running down inside the tarp of the gazebo. And now that's been replaced. Um, but yeah, I mean, the deck that I had before the addition was built, that lasted 20 years, and it wasn't falling apart like these boards. So I don't know what's going on. And I had stuff actually. We had stuff on it as well, you know. But those are still solid. I don't know why these are falling apart like that. It's like they're they look like they're pressure treated, but they're really not. And I don't know what happened to them, but they're they're crap. All of them are going to probably have to be pulled up. And I looked, I might look into that uh, recycled uh, plastic or some sort of. Uh, my parents had their decks done with it, so they never have to stain it, never have to replace it. It's basically lifetime, you know, warranty boards. Uh, I might look into that, see what the price is. You know, it's some sort of recycled plastic. You know, is it vinyl? Maybe, maybe I think vinyl. It's vinyl. Material. But it, they're they're one, basically the one by six boards, but they're you know made of recycled plastic, so those will definitely last. So I may may look into those, you know, see what the price difference is. So, but yeah, that's gonna be another unexpected project. I mean, for now, yeah, it's okay. For it's now. okay for I mean, now. It, over two days, it took five hours. Yeah. To do that, you know, then I like I said, I had to go back and forth because obviously I couldn't go through the back like I normally do, so I had to open the gate come, and come back and forth. You know, but Take I haven't even been, walk around. Yeah, I haven't even been going, been on my exercise bike because I don't have to. You yeah. know, because I'm walking so much. I'm running between the two houses. Yeah. You know, trying to keep up. You know, trying to keep the clothes. I don't want them to because it's getting warm, so I don't want them to stay in the washer and mold. You know, right. so I had to go put them in a the dryer, put another load in. Then, you know, I had to come over here and clean. Then I had to go back to the back deck and put some more coat on. Then I had to go back over here. Mm. To, well, I had to get the clothes out the dryer, fold them up, bring them over here. Then I had to come back over here to do the cooking. So I'm tired, subs. Mm. You know, but all everything that needed to get done got done. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so now we're just going to go to Walmart and pick up things we need. I'm going to gas up my truck because this is the tank of gas that I have had in here since last year. We had uh, the threat of hurricanes coming through. And I gassed up my truck. I can't remember what storm was going to be a possibility. Luckily, it made a turn, and it didn't come inland like we were thinking it might, like another Hugo uh, from way back in 89. But, yeah, so this gas needed to be burned up, and I've already, you know, it was in there for almost eight, nine months in my truck. So now I'm down to a quarter tank, and I can gas it up with some good gas. And it's only about sixty something a gallon at Walmart. So it's dirt cheap. You know, everything with this virus and I guess the fuel war between Russia and Saudi Arabia has, you know, plummeted the gas prices, you know, to the point where maybe $20, I don't know, maybe 30 will fill this truck up. But, yeah, I'm going to top it off and, you know, because gas prices haven't been like this since, what, in almost two decades. Well, no, 15, maybe, you know, 12, 15 years. It's been a long, long time since we've had gas below $2. A gallon, so um, yeah, especially at 165. So, anyway, we're gonna hit the road, so enjoy the road trip.
68 for regular. Three quarters of a tank, $35, not bad. Now let's check out the new entrance. Taters. I gotta keep six feet apart from you. Lemon pepper or fishery chicken. Yeah. Maybe we get some more oil. I think there's some there. I'll go check. Stores are looking kind of bare. No pulp. Really? 
temporarily out of stock. any of the regular rate I got stuff without pulp and I'm like no we're not getting that. that's about the next best thing I guess seasoning. It's all free seasoning. Yeah, I'm just kind of Yeah, doesn't look like it. Okay. Few boxes? No, they were just on some of that other Okay. Alright. We got elbows. And, you know, we don't need them. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, pickles. Yeah. There's a big jar. Great value. We might as well get a couple of them. Because I like my pickles. Yeah. Meow, meow. Listen to that back with these guys. Get her done. Dude, that's a 
popular mayonnaise around here. We're actually good on that. Oh yeah, there you go. Get your cereal. Like Fruit Loops, but they're not. Oh, and then there's Apple Blasts, which are like Apple Jacks, but yeah. not quite. But they, they taste exactly the same. <laughs> so that's yeah. why I don't want to get them because it tastes exactly yeah. like it. Get your Apple Blast and your Fruit Spins. Okay, we can't have Jacks or, or, or uh, uh, Loops. Yeah, we'll get that on the way out. Yeah, we'll go to uh, broccoli. Uh, oh, yeah, I need pop farts. Mm. Right yeah, but you like cherry. Huh? You like cherry, though. Yeah, I like cherry. Oh. You can usually buy anything. Another box. Let's be on the same. Yeah. Man, I scarfed up all the beef.
French silk pie. Oh my. Is there something particular you're looking for? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because the ice cream I was looking at was back here, so I figured you were looking for something. Anything you're looking for, yeah. ice cream wise? Yeah. yeah, we'll check out the discount rack. Yeah. Some mega rolls, 767. Looks like they got smashed. You want those or not? Okay. Yeah, not a whole lot. I guess everybody scavenged the discount racks. Nope, oh, there's really nothing. Gluten free. Buttermilk pancake mix. Oh my. There's some heavy duty un oven cleaner. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Alright, well, let's go get my uh, nutter butters. Alright, as we get no laundry detergent. They just left the big pallets of them sitting up here. Get what you want. Already did. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm 
total 99.85. Wow, pretty good. Yep, I figured we would. I just had that feeling. Yeah, no, that got scavenged up apparently. Please keep six feet apart. Oh, okay. Up, got food. We done did good. Yeah. Well, I'll just load everything up in here, right next to the old rack. Hmm. Oh, will you? Okay. Let me go ahead and unlock the hole. Got everything loaded up. Yeah. Not bad. Full tank of gas. We got our stiff. I think we're good for a while, so. Yeah. Well, let's hit the road.